360 videos can be incredibly immersive for our players, so let's learn how to make one. Coming into the project, you can see here, this is my free VR template that I provide. You can find it in the description below if you don't already have it, or just follow along in your own VR project. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I set up a new scene for this, so I'm not just reusing any of my old scenes, like the title screen or any of that. And I've made this new little blank scene, so I'm just going to duplicate that with Control D. I'm going to double click it and rename it. So what we have now is, well, we're in the 360 video scene. We have a XR interactor, but with no locomotion on it. And yeah, that's about it. A plane and a skybox. Hey, and you know what? Speaking of that skybox, that is actually how we're going to get the 360 video to play. So we need the video to play in our skybox so it surrounds the player entirely. So to kick that off, I'm going to go to assets and then I am going to create a new material. And from that material, I'm going to create the new skybox. There we go. And I'm just going to call this 360 material. Next, we need to come up to the shader and then we got to go down to skybox and then we want panoramic. And there we go. So if we want to apply this to the skybox, what we need to do is we need to go to the lighting window and you can find that in rendering lighting. And I'm just going to attach that here, go to environment and that is where the skybox is. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our new one. So now it's gray and dull and that's because we are not rendering anything to it. If you remember correctly, if I click over here on the inspector, you'll see there's nothing being rendered here. So in order to get something to render to it, we need a render texture. And you can find that if you right click and go down here, where is it hiding? Render texture, there we go. And I'm just gonna call this uh, RT360. For the render texture, we don't really need to change anything on it. We do need to adjust the size. So the size needs to be the same as our video. And well, as you can see, I don't have a video here yet. So I'm just going to import a free one that's open source that I found online. I'm sure you can do the same or hopefully you have your own 360 video. To figure out the size of the video, you just got to click on the video. And if you can't drag this open, you can just click these three buttons and hit restore and inspector. And we dropped out this menu, source info, and the pixels are 4096 by 2048. So let's go back to the render texture and put that in. All right, so we have the video, the render texture, and we have the material in the skybox. The only thing we need left to do is a video player in order to mesh it all together. So if we go to video, video player, there we are. And here it's asking for a video clip and a render texture. So go figure, that's what we got. So I'm gonna put the clip there and the render texture. And nothing has changed. And that's because I totally forgot to go back to the material and put the render texture here as well. And so now you've seen it's all gone black. And I'm going to hit play and see what we're working with here. And as you can see, the video is playing here and it's all around us. But this is kind of an eyesore. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And the only thing I'm really going to change here is I'm just going to click the plane and hide it. And let's press play and see what we got. And as you can see, uh, I have the 360 video playing. I can look around and yeah, I'm in it. Coming back to the editor, you know, I wanted to do a little more with this project. And so I decided to do a bit of a bonus for you guys. Instead of just having this 360 video play, what I want to do is I still want our environment to be around us. But once we click some form of controller or something, it can transition us into this place the skybox and then if you're using my template my uh, free VR template I do have a fade canvas that we can call so we can fade to black and then we fade into the 360 video so I'm gonna show you how I did that really quick so first things first I want to replace this lighting I'm just gonna change it back to the normal default skybox now the next thing I did is I actually made a prefab for this so I'm gonna drop this into the scene and you can see here all it is is a little tiny canvas and I created that just by going to UI or sorry XR and then UI canvas and I just added a few things two buttons and then I added the video player in here so I don't need this anymore so to run through this little prefab let me go back to the inspector I'm gonna get rid of this canvas uh, starting off at the top this is again just a canvas but I do have my own custom script that I'm going to run through in a minute. And then we have the video player, which I should connect this now just so I don't forget. So I just need to go back to the assets and then connect the video and the render texture. Next up, I have two buttons. I have a start 
in a pause button. And you know what? I was tinkering with this. This actually should start as inactive. So what these do is if we come down here, this calls a specific function within my script, and then it will take the pause button, it will activate it, and then it will deactivate itself and it'll hide it. So then when this is active, this will just call the pause video from the script. And then if we come over here again, it will just activate the start button and then deactivate the pause button. So they just kind of flip each other. And that's all that's going on here. So the last thing we need to do is go over the script so I can explain what it is doing. Oh, and it looks like we got to connect a few things too. So this function is actually pretty simple. We are going to be getting a collection of objects that we want to hide. We also have a reference to the fade canvas, the video material, the video player, the fade duration, and then the skybox material, the original skybox material. Once we grab the original skybox material with this, we'll call one of these two public functions, which is start video or pause video, and they both start the same coroutine. And the only thing that's different between them is one passes in the video material and the other one the sky material and then a different action. So this one will pass in play, this one will pass in pause. Now here we have a I enumerator. So we are gonna be using this to wait for the fade duration. Uh, we pass in the target material and then the action to complete once this function has run. We start off, we call the fade canvas, we wait. Then we set the objects as active based upon what target material we're using. So if it's the sky material that's coming in, well, then we want to have the objects be active. And if it is the video material, then we want them to be hidden because we're going to be playing 360 video. That's all this little function does down here. And so finally, we set the sky box to the target material, and then we will call the complete action that we passed in right here. And that's it. Pretty simple. Coming back to the editor, uh, this should be just about ready to go. We just need to connect these in. And I believe this whole thing is pretty easy to make. Let me know in the comments if you find it confusing and can't create it on your own and need more of a step-by-step -step guide. You can find this prefab on my Patreon as well as this script to run the whole thing. But without further ado, let's connect these things that we need. So first we want the objects we want to hide, and I've kept it simple. We just want to hide this plane. So I'm going to drag that there. We need a reference to the fade canvas, which is right under the main camera. And then we have the video material. We have the video player. And the fade duration, which is set to one, which works pretty well. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do to wrap things up here, I'm going to, you know, I think I'm gonna attach this to my left controller just so it's not floating here. So I should probably zero some things out. All right, that should work. And since that is now zeroed out, let's see. Yeah, I kind of want to tilt it. So I'm gonna tilt this whole thing about 25 degrees. There we go. And that should be attached to my left controller. All right. And just to make sure, we should make sure our array interactors on both our right and left are set to interact with UI components, which these are not. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can take it off default and let's boot up and see what we got. Okay. If I boot into the scene, you see I have the UI canvas here. And if I press play, I fade and the video starts. And then if I press pause again, there we are. It works. A big shout out always to my Patreon members. Without you, I can't do this. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.